Hey guys, I am Marcos Vidalis and these are the rocks. And uh, many of you are asking me how I use my inflatable boat to go out on this rocky environment. Today we are going to see how. Guys, before we start talking about this uh, topic, the first thing we have to pay ultimate attention is that it is very, very dangerous. Of course, dangerous is also walking on the rocks, but guys, getting close to sharp rocks with an inflatable boat, the least it can happen is that it breaks and you simply stay on the rock until someone comes to pick you up. And the worst is that you might get drowned. So, guys, we start and we finish with the same alert. It is very dangerous. And I totally don't recommend to do so with any other inflatable boat than the Commando Series. The Commando Series is a very reinforced inflatable boat made for such situations. The reinforcement is called whale skin. More details about the commando video you can find here on the link. The good thing with the inflatable boat going out is that you don't consume any energy walking for one or one and a half hour going down the rocks and go back. That means that when you approach the spot, you are not tired and you have full power of fishing all day. Of course, with a boat, you can have also a small uh, ice box that you can have your uh, food that stay cold inside. And if you, if you get a good fish, you can keep it fresh because especially in the summer, if you get a fish in a place that you walked far, you have to go because in less than 30 minutes, the fish is trash, okay? Besides, the plan is to go to far places on calm days that the fish might be more inactive. Okay, this is why I use the boat and if you have seen me using the inflatable boat is always on calm days. For my safety and because I want some more chances to visit a place more quiet and enjoy my fishing. Please note that going somewhere with the inflatable boat doesn't guarantee that you will get fish because if fish are not active in the places that you can reach with your foot, the same goes that <laughs> for the place that you go with your boat, the fish might not be active, but it's very inspiring and you feel more comfortable. So there are some very basic uh, rules we have to follow and pay attention guys because it's serious. Okay, if you wanna do it, then better do it right. First of all, we will always go out on the rocks with a calm sea. We never go with waves. It's extremely dangerous even with a very strong and reinforced boat like the Commando because near the rocks a big swell or a big uh, wave can throw you inside the water. No. Even with little wind, we always approach from the protected area. That's very, very important. This is my beloved way of getting out. It's the safest. And this style always keeps the boat away from the rocks because the weight of the chain that goes down on the bottom force it to go back and stay away from the rocks. It's good to find uh, an easy place to go out. Sometimes maybe it's not possible, but if you do have uh, the, a spot that is a bit flat, so you can have a secure step outside, take full advantage of that, even if you have to walk a bit to your uh, preferred uh, fishing spot. 
Once you find the ideal spot, you let the boat approach with the engine running at the lowest speed until you touch the rocks. You keep the engine running so that will keep pushing and stabilizing your boat. Now we are ready for the next step. You are going to need two anchors to go out properly. For the front part, I am using a small anchor of half a kilo that I cast it out on the rocks and I, this is uh, grabbing the rocks and give me a steady uh, leverage to control the boat. I will cast far so I can have a better angle. It's pointless to cast here, it's better to cast far. Exactly like this. And then I will release. Now I will turn off the engine so it will stop pushing. If you are too in the inflatable boat, it's even more easy. I personally use for the rear part uh, an anchor of 1.5 uh, kilograms with uh, a, a, a thick chain uh, that is uh, one and a half the length of my inflatable boat. So it will have enough weight to go down on the bottom and the weight push the boat back. Both anchors are pre-tied securely. It is the first thing we do when we enter in the boat. Your expedition, your boat and your life depend on the anchors. Then I will put the anchor that it's, as you can see, there is a lot of length of the anchor and I will cast it far. I will retrieve until it gets Okay, now we can see that I'm getting far from the shore and now I'm going to secure I have calculated the length of the rope that I need so I can go close to the rocks but when I release the boat returns back. Like this. Now the boat stays away from the rocks. The plan is, when I'm out, to stay like this. For going out, I will have Like that. So, when we go out from the boat to the rocks, we never have our backpack on our shoulders. We never wear it. We will grab it and take it out. The same we will do with the rod. We take the rod and we place it on the bag that we have just uh, put out of the boat. We always go out of the boat with empty hands. We never hold anything. It's extremely dangerous to hold anything and it's super dangerous to wear a backpack full of jigs on your back trying to go out because if you fell in the water, it will drag you directly on the bottom. And if you get panicked, you might not have the, pow the power or the courage to take it off. So guys, we go out from the boat and we get back in the boat always empty handed. We always check that it has a good grip and we need a chain also here for not rubbing on the rocks the rope and break. The boat will stay there safely. 
Now your body will wait until your fishing is over. And if you want to be invisible, you simply put it in a small gulf like this. And nobody can see you. The perfect crime. I suggest if you start going out with boats, better be two persons, not one. Because you might, actually I'm sure, that you will get in trouble. So this is why I suggest when you use boats to climb out on the rocks and go fishing, any type of fishing, be two persons and be with quiet conditions like today. In the worst case, you will paddle. <laughs> that is a nice exercise. And with a nice water, calm conditions is pleasant. But with strong conditions is... Guys, keep in mind that when you need to have a, a a boat with an engine, it has to be licensed with all, with the name and the license uh, registration code, and also you need uh, uh, many things carry with you, like uh, fire flame, uh, fireworks, safety fireworks, uh, also some uh, life jackets. You must always be responsible and legal. Let's go inside now. You bring the boat close one more time and uh, you put the things inside first. Once you are done, you simply go. So we take the current has changed direction. The boat is hitting the rocks. This is why it is hard to be done with a normal inflatable boat. You could, but it's extremely dangerous and I do not suggest. Besides, you will have to go in and out of the boat without the boat be able to touch the rocks, which is almost impossible. We are going in. Before we lift the rear anchor, we start the engine. This is critical. We need to have the boat ready to move. We keep the engine in idle. We untie the rope of the rear anchor and we start lifting it. We are done and we are ready to go back. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I, I feel that it was very necessary to show you how it's done. Also to tell you how dangerous it is. So, if eventually you decide to do so, please do it only with an adequate inflatable boat that is unbreakable on the rocks and be responsible okay see you soon guys thank you very much